is Tanya Noor's mom. So today I am going to be speaking to you all about flashcards. Why flashcards? When to start using them? How to use them the right way? And what to look for while buying flashcards for your child? So number one, why flashcards? So a child's brain is ninety percent developed by the time he's five years of age. However, between zero to two years of age is a magical window that comes. And during this time, babies have unique learning abilities, genius-like abilities. And if we harness them, we can create a strong foundation for their future. So let me take you through the brain, how it works. So the brain, human brain, is divided into two hemispheres, left and right. The left hemisphere deals with things like analysis, logic, reasoning, critical thinking, numbers, uh, language. Whereas the right brain deals with stuff like uh, creativity, arts, music, visual imagery, imagination, and intuition. So babies are naturally born with right brain abilities. Uh, the right brain is dominant; is the dominant hemisphere from zero to two years of age. However, as the child starts growing, uh, this right brain becomes very, very difficult to train. And if not trained or activated, Uh, within uh, this short period of time, it can become dormant by six years of age. So, uh, right brain training is very very essential because it trains the mind to think efficiently and develop skills like uh, building a photographic memory, uh, speed reading, uh, prodigal talent, uh, you know, talent in music, or uh, building focus, concentration, and Also enhances memorization. So, as parents, uh, it should our responsibility that we uh, train our baby's right brain and activate it in order to uncover their hidden potential. And flashcards are a proven way to activate the right brain because flashcards uh, they help in stimulating the baby's brain. They help in Uh, developing imagination, building vocabulary, language, communication skills helps in developing metacognition, that is awareness of one's own thoughts. Uh, it helps in building focus, concentration, and also helps in developing an active recall. So, if we want uh, to uncover those unique learning abilities in our child, we can use flashcards to activate our baby's right brain hemisphere. So now, when can you start using flashcards? You can start using flashcards as soon as possible, as soon as the baby is born. In fact, uh, there are a specific kind of flashcards that are to be used for babies from zero to three months of age. Those are called high contrast uh, flashcards because uh, between zero to three months of age, babies' vision is not developed. They can only see a few colors like black, white, and red. So when we show them a uh, high contrast or black and white flashcards. It helps in number one stimulating their brain. It helps in developing their vision. Helps in developing visual memory and concentration. So, uh, high contrast cards look like these. Uh, as you can see, they are black and white, and child just needs to look at them, and it helps in developing uh, their vision. So, uh, how should you use them? So, like I said, the child just needs to see them around. Uh, so while giving tummy time, you can put these cards in front, or uh, you know, while you the baby is in the cot, you can make a DIY cot mobile. So cot mobile is the thing that you can hang above the cot, which the baby keeps on saying. So you can just hang these cards there, or you can hang these cards all along the cot of the baby. The idea is that the child should always be seeing them. Uh, you know, they can be stuck on the wall as well. So uh, this will help in developing their. Brain and their vision. Now, for babies greater than three months old, you can use uh, any colorful flashcards to teach any kind of concept to your baby, like fruits, vegetables, animals, birds, shapes, colors, numbers, alphabets, anything that you want. So you can use uh, stuff like vegetables, like these, uh, just normal flashcards. But the million-dollar question is that how do you use them the right way uh, in order to harness those abilities? So there are two ways to use the flashcard. One is to use flashcards to activate the right brain, and one to activate the left brain. So we should be using both these ways for our children. But especially in that age group of zero to two years, it's very important that we use flashcards 
uh, in the way that it stimulates the right brain. So, the first method to use flashcards uh, is the Glenn Donnan method, uh, which activates the right brain. And in this method, flashcards are shown in a very, very rapid and quick pace. That is because right brain works in a way that it only absorbs information when information is presented in a very, very fast and quick manner. Uh, the right brain uh, function is to absorb information in an unconscious and effortless manner. So, uh, the way to use these flashcards for right brain training is that you take any set of flashcards like these. So I have a vegetable uh, set of flashcards here. Then uh, you should sit uh, approximately uh, an arm length distance with your baby and you both should be facing each other. Now if you say that you know uh, from 0 to 6 months old when my baby is very very small uh, and he cannot sit then how will I show these flashcards no problem even if your baby is lying down on the bed you should hold these flashcards like this the flashcards facing the baby who is lying down at an arm's distance about two feet length right then uh, you've got to ensure that number one your baby is in a happy mood then whenever you take a set of flashcards uh, you have to show them to your baby very enthusiastically right and before starting, you have to uh, give an introductory note. Say like, Hi Noor, today I'm going to be showing you some vegetables. Or you can say, Hi baby, let me show you a set of farm animals. Right? So you have to maintain that happiness and that voice modulation has to come in your tone. Because if you will enjoy, the baby will also want to enjoy. Then you have to show these flashcards to your baby in a very very fast paced manner so like i'm holding here i'll go like broccoli carrot capsicum okra onion cauliflower beetroot tomatoes cucumber beans like that so you have to show each card for less than one second even you can show two cards in one second you have to go very very quickly i'll show you in another example so, hi Noor, today I am going to be showing you some shapes. Semicircle, diamond, pentagon, star, crescent, heart, rectangle, circle, square, triangle. So, that is how you show them. This way, by showing him so quickly and spending less than a second on each card, you will finish the entire set of 10 cards in around 10 seconds. So, you can show three sets of cards in one go and just spend 30 seconds. The child will also not get bored and his right brain will also get activated. You've got to understand that by showing these cards in a fast-paced manner, we are not teaching baby the meaning of the words of triangle or semicircle. We are just helping develop their photographic memory. Right? Now, uh, you can show uh, two to three sets at one go. So if one set is of shapes, Say 10 cards, you can show shapes, fruits and vegetables in one go. But every time you show it, you have to say uh, what you're showing to your baby. And you must show each set at least two or three times in a day. With a minimum gap of 30 minutes. Also, whenever you share, uh, whenever you show your baby uh, the set uh, in a day, you should shuffle these cards. You should not have them in the same order. Also, uh, you should... Uh, continue with a particular set only for a maximum of 7 to 10 days. So after 7 to 10 days, you should change all the sets and bring out new concepts. And again, you know, in a couple of months, you can bring these cards back so that the baby's brain can again revisit those concepts. Please uh, do not show cards like this. This is a beetroot. This is a tomato. Because this will actually start stimulating the left brain instead of the right brain. Also, when you're holding flashcards, hold them in a way that you're not uh, hiding the picture. So don't hold them like this. Hold them from here and quickly, you know, show it to the baby. So now you'll ask me, how are you showing so quickly? How do you know what's there in front? So uh, the best flashcards are those which have names written behind it. So if your flashcards don't have names written behind, please write them on your own with a marker. And last thing is that you should have to be consistent while using flashcards. They have to be repeated twice or thrice a day 
every day. The second method of uh, showing flashcards to your baby is to stimulate the left brain. It is called the multi-sensory method because the idea is that information is absorbed through various senses. Now, uh, like I said, when we show flashcards slowly, that is when left brain gets stimulated because the eyes are seeing the image, information is getting processed, then sending the signal back to the brain. And that is when the left brain is getting stimulated. But if we show these flashcards so slowly, then the toddler or the child will get very, very bored and they will not want to continue with the activity. That is why this uh, slow pace showing of flashcards doesn't work. So how do you show uh, these flashcards through a multi-sensory method? So when your child becomes older, when he's a toddler, then you create activities around it. Take some color flashcards. So say I have a yellow flashcard here. So you take this flashcard and ask your child to search for objects around the house in the yellow color and bring them. This way he will learn about the yellow color. He's learning the meaning of the word yellow rather than just uh, the photographic memory. So this is one way. Another way is that take an alphabet like A and then ask your toddler to get uh, or search objects around the house that begin with A. And that is how the child will learn about objects that start with A. You take some real life objects in your house like an apple, a lemon and uh, get these flashcards out. Say of a lemon or uh, of a watermelon or an apple and ask your toddler to match them. To match them and keep them together. So in all these ways, you can also uh, use flashcards uh, in order to stimulate left brain and also help in teaching your baby concepts, numbers, shapes and uh, helping him retain all that information. Now, the last topic, what to look for while buying flashcards. So ideally, flashcards should be large in size. Uh, they shouldn't be very, very small. Ideal ones is an A4 uh, size flashcards that look like this. You can even make them at home uh, or uh, you can go for a maximum of an A5 uh, like this. This is uh, an A5 size or an A6 size like this. But don't go uh, below uh, an A5 uh, or an A6 size. Ideal is A4. Uh, also, whenever buying flashcards, ensure that the pictures made on them are very, very clear and they are very large and uh, mostly you should buy those flashcards which resemble the real picture. So initially when the baby is small then you can use uh, you know cute flashcards and uh, animated flashcards also uh, like these or uh, things like this but uh, after two years of age it's advisable that you use flashcards that uh, have pictures on them that uh, resemble the real thing like you know this watermelon, coconut, it's so real, kiwi because so that uh, that's the age when babies actually start identifying things and they will be able to do so better. Then whenever buying flashcards there should no, be no distraction in the background. So if you're showing kiwi there is just kiwi here right. If you're showing a carrot uh, there is just a carrot here there's nothing else in the background. I'll give you an example of what kind of flashcards uh, you should not buy, like the distraction part, uh, lotus. So for a child, uh, does lotus mean lotus or the water here is lotus or the leaves here? So it can be confusing. I'll give you another example. So I have yogurt here, but there are strawberries also. So will the child learn that uh, this is yogurt or this is yogurt? So you get my point? Uh, the picture should be absolutely clear and to the point. Nothing, no distractions. Like I said earlier, uh, it's very important that you buy flashcards that have names written behind rather than written here. Because babies, they can't read language, right? So, for in order for you to make uh, the flashcard activity easier, names should be behind so that you can easily show them to your baby. And the baby just sees the shape or the symbol here rather than some text written here. Also go for flashcards that are more durable, they are laminated, you can use them for a pretty long time. And uh, the colors, uh, best is to have flashcards on a plain white base uh, like you've seen here because that really gets attention on the object. So this was all about flashcards. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.